everyone, this is Kim at Kim's Nest, and today we're going to make a Valentine card using the Pooh and Friends cartridge. And I'm also going to keep good on my promise, and I'm going to be using the Can Company paper pack that I had told you about. This is some of the papers that are in it. They are just, of course, I've used quite a few of them, but this just gives you kind of an idea. So, let's get started. This is the handbook that comes with the Pooh and Friends cartridge. We're going to be using page 60 and we're going to be cutting out this beehive. We're going to be using the actual shadow feature. Then we'll use layers 1 and 2, 3 and 4. For time's sake, I've gone ahead and pre-programmed all of this onto my Gypsy, so all we have to do is hook it up to our Cricut and get started. This is cut now, and we're going to start assembling it. I'm using the Zig two-way glue for this, and here we go. Now that we have our beehive assembled, it's time to assemble our card. From our Can Company pack, we're going to be using this um, paper that has the little like daisy flowers on it with a little heart in the middle. It's so cute. And we're going to cut this at four and three fourths by three and three fourths. Today, I'm going to use my Glue Glider Pro. It's a little bit smaller than the ATG gun, and on cards, it's, I love my ATG gun, but sometimes it's nice just to pull this out. It's my backup tool. So we're going to place that there. Then the next thing we're going to do is cut out a corresponding pattern. I chose this yellow and it is cut at four and three fourths by four, no, four and three fourths by three and three fourths. Sorry about that. Look at the cute lion on that, the back of that. And I'm just going to place this. Next, I cut a strip of brown. It came from the same Cane Company paper pack. And I cut that at four and three fourths by half of an inch. You could use ribbon here, but I'll probably give this to one of my boys for Valentine's Day, and I didn't want to use a ribbon um, on their card. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out two stripes. I picked the red because it would pick up the color in the red hearts. And we cut this at one and a fourth by four and a half. And cut that over a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just bend it over. Sorry, I think I got that a little bit crooked. There's a couple of different types of glue that you can buy, or adhesive that you can buy that goes in the Glue Glider Pro. They have the dots if you like that. This is 
permanent and it's like a little strip of glue so it doesn't come up as easily if you like to reposition different on, on your page if you like to put it down and then try it out and see how you like it this you would not want to get permanent you'd want to get the glue dots that are adjustable the next thing that I cut out using my nest abilities I cut out a circle this is approximately let's see three and a half inches it's the second one from the largest and if you look real closely you can see that I embossed the edge I think that just gives it a nice neat finished look and then using the nest abilities um, scallop circles I cut this circle and it's also about three and a half inches I didn't emboss this one you could also um, if you didn't have nest abilities you could use your Cricut to cut them out there's all kinds of circle cutters and things like that on the market also and then I'm just going to place this on the card right there the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring back our embellishment that we made from the Pooh and Friends cartridge. You could use dimensionals and kind of pop this up if you wanted. I chose not to just for time's sake because of the small branches. I'm just going to use my Zig two-way glue and attach it. That in itself would be a great card. but. I wanted to add just a little bit more to it so what I did was I used my Microsoft Word and you can look on the internet and find all kinds of sayings and things like that I used vellum paper and I printed off we go together like bees and honey this measures nine and three-fourths by six and three-fourths and what I'm going to do is just we're going to I can't think of the word um, score it I couldn't think and this is just um, a cutter and score from Provocraft I got it at Hobby Lobby for like five or six dollars it was really cheap but it comes in really handy what I do is I use this one for scoring and then I have another one that I use for just all my cuts. That way I don't have to change my blades out every time I want to, want to use them. So there we go. We have that scored in the middle. Did I score it evenly, I hope? Okay, I'm just going to fold it. So we're going to bring our card back, open it up, and then I'm going to take some more of my Zig Two Way Glue. I'm just going to go down the center of my card. The great thing about this vellum is it's hard to find a good adhesive to work with it because I wondered where I got red on because um, you can see through it. So I find that the Two Way Zig Glue works really well because. Once it, once it dries, it dries clear. So then you're going to just press that. Even though you can see a little bit of it now, when it dries, it'll be clear. And then you have a professional looking card. <laughs>